Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to deploy a React application onto Amazon Web Services. So uh, for the sake of this tutorial I'm going to be using AWS Amplify. So that is a service provided by Amazon and uh, in the previous tutorial I showed you guys how to deploy an application onto Google Cloud. Uh, and so today we're going to be deploying onto AWS. So first and foremost what you're going to need is an AWS account. Uh, so uh, if you haven't created one already, you can just create one. And there is a free tier, so uh, that's not going to be a problem. So once you've created your AWS account, the next thing you're going to want to do is set up your React application. So in this case, I'm going to be using a sample React app. So I've gone ahead and visited the React.js website. And I'm going to be using this sample React app. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy that, paste it here, and just give it some time. So once the application has been set up, just navigate inside the folder. In this case, my folder is called My App. And then what you're going to want to do is create a GitHub repository. Now, for the sake of this tutorial, there are many ways to deploy an application onto AWS. But for this tutorial, I'm going to be using GitHub. I'm going to be initializing a repository onto GitHub and then and then sending my application onto GitHub and then connecting that with AWS Amplify. So go ahead and create a new repository on GitHub. Just give it any name and within this uh, repository your application will be stored. So I'm going to give it as React app and public okay and create repository so once you create this repository you're gonna want to initialize the repository and create a git init on your local machine so go ahead and copy this copy your github link the clone link copy that and the next thing you're gonna want to do is create a, a git init inside your react application that's stored on your local machine hit git init and you're going to want to add this um, onto your uh, local machine your remote machine so go ahead and type git remote add origin and then paste in the the url of your the github url of your repository and then you're going to want to add everything inside this folder onto your local git so git add dot and you're going to want to type in a commit message so git commit dash m and i'm going to just hit a um, first app so once you've uh, committed your git you're going to want to push this uh, remote git onto your github repository so git push origin master your master branch okay so once you've pushed your local git onto your repository you can just go ahead and check your repository as you can see here everything has been taken in so the next thing you're going to want to do is uh, navigate to your aws account and um, i'm pretty sure you would have created an account by now so uh, go ahead and go to the AWS Management Console. So inside the AWS Management Console, type in AWS Amplify. So select AWS Amplify and give it some time. So once you're on AWS Amplify, uh, we've developed the application onto on our local machine. So now what we want to do is deploy it. So under deploy, click get started and connect app, select a Git provider. So you're going to want to select GitHub and click continue. So once you've done that, you're going to want to connect your GitHub account. In this case, it's auto connected. So I'm just going to authorize this. Okay, so now once you've done this, once the GitHub authorization has been successful, 
you're going to want to select your repository. So in my case, uh, the list of my repositories are here. So my repository is actually a React app. So I'm going to select that. And the branch is going to be the master branch. So once you select these two, just click next. So this is your application name. Pick a name for your application. I'm, I'm going to leave it as React app. And then it's going to auto detect your build settings in this case. Uh, so you, what you do is just keep it there. You don't need to do any changes for that. You can just go ahead and click next. So and then it gives you a review of your application. So once you've just gone through this, just hit save and deploy. And of course, give it some time. Give it some time. It's going to go through the build and deploy. So just give it some time. OK, so so as you can see, our application has been built and deployed. So just when it comes to this build or deploy, you can just manually test it. So after you test it, uh, it uh, gives a verified checkbox. So in our case, uh, all settings have been done and this is your URL. So you go ahead and just click on it. Now this is a domain given by the AWS service. So this is our React application and it is officially on the AWS Amplify. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial.